Lions TV, this is a pre-match prediction for Saturday's away London derby against Brentford at Griffin Park. Seems like we haven't played for absolutely ages for some reason, but the international break seems like it's just gone on forever and ever, and I just, for one, just can't stand watching England play. So back to business, back to the championship. I'm going to let some shots off straight out of the cannon. Brentford, I don't class them as a Wolves, as a Knott's Forest, as a derby. This is a club in the same sort of situation as us, small crowds, little ground, you know, not massive budgets. And I'm expecting us to have a real chance of getting three points. Usually at this point, I'd fire straight into our starting 11. But before I do that, let's have a little catch up on the squad. As we know, Sean Williams is out for months with a knee injury. Byron Webster is out for the rest of the season with medial ligament damage. And also now, Steve Morrison looks like he's going to be injured for three to four weeks. On top of that, Conor McLaughlin has picked up a knock on international duty for Northern Ireland. So, you know, we're not down to the bare bones, but we're now seeing why we've got this bigger squad while well, we've invested well in the summer, and we'll get a good look at some of the players coming in. Tom Elliott is fit to play, and also, I don't know whether he's been sent back or he's come back at Millwall's call, but Harry Smith has returned to the club from Swindon. I'm expecting him to maybe even be on the bench Saturday. But let's take a look at the 11 that I think will start the match. Jordan Archer will keep his place in goal. I'm expecting Marlon Romeo to come in for his first start in the league at right back. James Meredith left back, Sean Hutchinson and Jake Cooper to start a centre defence. George Saville and Ryan Tunnicliffe in central midfield. I'd rather have time personally, but I'll cover that in a minute. AOB on the left. Jed on the right is pretty cemented. And up front, Tom Elliott and Lee Gregory will lead the line. Obviously, two changes in the back four will be false changes. As I'm looking here, as I just called the side, I'm thinking two young players coming in. Marlon Romeo at right back. We've seen what he can do last season. It was, it was Marlon's shirt to lose, really, I felt, the right-back position. It was uh, it was an unfair McLaughlin coming in, because improvements had to be made, and McLaughlin's done a great job when he's come in, but... I feel that Marlon really deserved his chance in this league and, and, and now he's going to get it. We know he's, he's capable. I think he's more than capable of stepping up a level. Jake Cooper, obviously, started the first game of the season at Knott's Forest. We know he's capable of playing at this level also. So it'll be a good chance for them to come in, the youngsters, and show what they can do. In midfield, it's a given now. Jeb Wallace is probably the first name on the team sheet on the right. AOB on the left. It's George Saville and... Ryan Tunnicliffe, I'm expecting to start. To be honest, I'd rather play Ben Thompson just because I know he's hungry for it as it is as a Mill fan. But in a London derby, it's going to be scrappy. It's going to be a battle. And I just think that he's, he's got a little, little, bit more, little bit more aggression, a little bit more passion about him than Tunnicliffe. Obviously, Tunnicliffe, probably technically a better player. Not that I've really seen a lot of that, to be honest, so far. We haven't seen a great deal of Tunnicliffe. But I'm expecting Tunnicliffe to start. And then up front, Lee Gregory and Tom Elliott. A lot of people have been calling for Tommy to start 90 minutes a long time before now, so he'll get his chance with Morrow being injured over the next three or four weeks to show us, the fans, what he can really do. Moving on to the opposition, Brentford, managed by Dean Smith. He's been managing there now for two years. He's doing a good job, I feel. You know, I say they're in the same sort of boat as us, I think, with budgets they can spend. You know, they're not one of the clubs that expected to set the world alight in the Championship, they're expected to survive, and they've done that so far. They're 19th, though, this season. They are unbeaten in their last four matches. Last time out, drawing 2-2 against Middlesbrough at the Riverside. The danger man for them is going to be Ollie Watkins, signed from Exeter in the summer for around £1.8 million, pounds, believed, on a four-year deal. He scored three goals in his last three games. Young striker, hungry, and he's doing well in his first year in the Championship. So he's the one to watch this Saturday at Griffin Park. This is a pre-match prediction. As I've already said, it's a game I strongly believe we can win. Jeb Wallace has said the same at News at Den, I think, in the week. You know, it's a small ground, compact Good atmosphere, a lot of people close to the pitch, and, and, and that does suit our game, as we've already seen at Loftus Road this season. I think we're going to win by two goals to one. I think Jeb Wallace is going to get on the score sheet, and Tom Elliott to get the winner. So that's it, that's your lot. Shock, I've gone for another win, but it's sold out to me all fans. I'm expecting a blinding atmosphere Saturday, and I will see you there if you're going. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.